Welcome to this short informational webinar on The Real, The Role, Evaluation of Activities of Life by authors Kristen and William Roll and published by Pearson. My name is Dr. Adam Scheller and I'm a Senior Educational Consultant with Pearson Clinical Assessment. The Real is a standardized evaluation that assesses a child's ability to care for themselves. This rating form was developed to assess children ages 2 years 0 months through 18 years 11 months. Its completion time will vary from 15 to 20 minutes and that's dependent on whether you administer both the ADL and IADL sections together or just one section by itself. Now scoring for the assessment is completed by hand. The purpose of this assessment is to rate how well a child initiates, undertakes, and completes necessary components of activities. These components include obtaining needed supplies for an activity, maintaining a safe body position during the activity, properly sequencing the steps, and finally, the child's ability to problem solve and make appropriate and safe choices during the activity. This assessment has several recommended clinical uses. They include helping clinicians determine a child's need for skilled and supportive services, determining placement and living arrangements, and developing and evaluating programs for children. On the school side, the real can be used to inform a child's IEP and intervention services. Also, because of its high degree of reliability and validity, the real can be used to help provide standardized data to drive research. The examiner qualification level for the real is B. Now, for further information on qualification levels, please visit the Pearson Clinical website for a detailed description. Now, this is an assessment that can be useful for a variety of professionals that meet this qualification such as occupational therapists, those in medical and mental health settings, psychologists, social workers, and special education teachers. The professionals discussed on the previous slide may find this assessment to be an effective tool for them to use in many different settings, including hospitals, outpatient clinics, mental health facilities, and schools. The REAL evaluates both a child's ADLs, or Activities of Daily Living, and IADLs, or Instrumental Activities of Daily Living. The ADL domain is rated based on 78 statements across six skill areas, while the IADL domain includes six skill areas rated by 58 statements. The test is designed to allow flexibility of administration. You're able to administer both domains together or separately. Let's first review the ADL domain. Here are the six skill areas for ADLs. There are 20 statements related to dressing, 20 statements related to hygiene and grooming, 13 related to feeding, 11 related to toileting, 10 related to functional mobility, and two statements related to personal care. Now personal care rates a child's ability to use personal care devices such as contact lenses, glasses, hearing aids, and orthotics. The personal care and female dressing items are included for informational purposes only and do not contribute toward the standardized score as explained at the bottom of page 9 in the user guide. On this screen, we see examples of the statements you will see in the dressing section. Now, these statements are all rated individually on a four-point Likert scale, ranging from zero, or unable to perform the task, to three, frequently, or over 75% of the time, the child is able to perform the task. All six sections in the ADL domain must be completed to obtain a standard score. Now, let's review the IADL domain, referring to instrumental activities of daily living. Again, there are six skill areas for IADLs. There are 14 statements for housework chores, eight statements on managing money and shopping, eight on meal preparation, 13 on personal safety, seven on travel, and eight statements for school-related skills. Here's an example of the housework and chores section of the IADL domain. As was the case with the ADL section, all statements are rated individually on a four-point scale ranging from the child being unable to perform the task to frequently or three out of four trials performing the task. Also, in order to obtain a standard score, all six sections of the IADL domain must be completed. Now components of the test include rating forms and a user's guide. In the user's guide, you'll find information about the real and scoring information, as well as helpful handouts that are reproducible. Appendices A and B have handouts for all areas of the ADL and IADL sections, and Appendix E has educational handouts for parents and caregivers. From the Reproducible Educational Handouts Appendix, here's an example of a handout for parents and caregivers of a two-year-old child. 
Now, as you can see, it provides a list of activities a child should be able to do at their developmental age level, broken down in the same categories rated on the reel. For a two-year-old, this includes activities such as taking off socks and shoes and being able to tolerate a haircut. Here's an example of the rating form. It includes sections for demographics, age, and scores for the ADL and IADL sections. As you can see on the score section, there are boxes for the raw scores, standard scores, percentile, and standard error of measure. Also, at the bottom, you can see details listed for how each rating should be applied, as well as directions for completing the form. We suggest always reviewing this with caregivers prior to filling out the form to help ensure accurate completion and effective ratings. When interpreting the results from the reel, it's important to remember what each given score tells us. Now, a standard score estimates how well developed a child's skills are by comparing their ratings to the ratings of other same aged peers. A percentile rank represents where in the population a child's given score lies. For example, if a child receives a percentile rank of 50, then their ability is at or better than 50% of same aged peers. And finally, the standard error of measure, or SEM, provides an estimate of error in the observed test score. Data collected for the real development was conducted between October of 2011 and June of 2012. Now, sample data was collected on children ages 2 years 0 months through 18 years 11 months with 786 non-disabled participants from 46 of the United States. There were also 58 international participants included in the sample. Also, Clinical group data was collected from 164 participants with disabilities. On this slide, we see the reliability coefficients and standard errors of measurement by age for both the ADL and IADL domains. Note that the reliability coefficients are at 0.92 and above, which indicates excellent reliability and a very low overall error. Reliability was also based on a test-retest evaluation which, as you can see from this slide, shows excellent stability of scores for the reel over time. For this study, 19 caregivers completed the reel twice, with a time between tests of approximately one week. As well, for the inter-rater reliability study, two different caregivers for 19 participants completed the reel approximately one week apart from each other. The Kronbox alpha coefficients of 0.939 and higher show a very high level of consistency between raters. Studies of validity are required for us to make predictive judgments of a person's ability in the areas measured by a test. Now, validity analysis is imperative to show that each of the sections rated in the reel measure what they indicate. So for the reel, concurrent validity was established by giving 20 participants both the reel and PD. The results of both assessments were then compared to confirm the validity of areas measured in the reel analysis. Additionally, construct validity gives us evidence that an assessment is actually measuring the concepts indicated. This was demonstrated for the real through intercorrelation and factor analysis. And finally, confirmatory factor analysis was run to determine that the pattern of obtained scores did in fact support the theoretical structure of the test. Further information on reliability and validity can be found in the user's guide. Information on ordering and pricing for the reel can be found on the Pearson Clinical websites. You can see that a kit can be purchased which includes both the user's guide and 25 rating forms. Also, you're able to purchase the user's guide and packs of 25 rating forms separately. Please access the different websites listed on the screen for accurate pricing in the U.S. and Canada. Thank you for listening to and watching this short presentation on the role evaluation of activities of life. Have a great day.